Skin Industries, your top action sports clothing company since 98. Skin is your number one lifestyle brand based out of Southern California that brings you the best styles around with the hottest models in the industry. Check out Skin Industries Clothing at SkinIndustries.com and look for free giveaways on our Facebook page. Of the blue corner, Christy Lopez. Hi, my name is Christy Lopez and I'm fighting in the Women's Tough Enough 125 pound tournament. Um, as for predictions, you know, I, I plan on winning, I plan on winning that belt. Um, you know, wherever that fight may go, whether it be stand up or the ground, I'm ready, my mind's ready, my body's ready, my soul's ready. Um, you know, I fight with a lot of heart and I'm ready and I'm ready to leave it all in the cage. And, um, you know, I plan on winning that belt and uh, may the best woman win. Christy Lopez. Welcome back to the South Point Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada for more Tough Enough, the future stars of mixed martial arts. My name is John Morgan. I'm alongside Ron, the Yakman Yakavetti. Our next bout tonight in the 125 pound female division. This is the second semifinal of a four woman tournament. The winner of this fight advances to meet Rachel Cummins on August 18th in Mesquite, Nevada with the vacant 125 pound title on the line. The first woman you're gonna meet here is Christy Violencia Lopez, training out of Legends in Hollywood, California. She is a perfect two and O in her amateur career thus far. Yeah, she is. And that is a great gym and camp to come out of. Striking with Chris Riley, grappling and jiu-jitsu with Eddie Bravo. That is like being on Top Chef and getting paired with two of the best guys in the kitchen. Great background for Christy Lopez. She comes in looking to book a final spot with Rachel Cummins. Let's meet her opponent, Christy Ferrer. And now the red corner, Christine Ferrer. Hi, my name is Christine Faria. I'm coming out of Hard Knocks Muay Thai. I'll be competing in the 125 pound tournament for Tough Enough. Last time with uh, Tough Enough, I had a 32 second knockout. I think it's going to be a very exciting stand up fight. There's going to be a lot of blows thrown and a lot of hard hits. I'm honored to be fighting for Tough Enough and I'm, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to fight for Tough Enough. And I'm just glad um, they're opening up the way for us women. I'm, all my family and friends are in California. Um, I, my full-time job is security on the strip. Uh, I see a lot of crazy stuff. Um, it's fun. Uh, I wake up 7 in the morning, train 7.30 to 8.30, go to work by 9.30, work all day, come to training from 6 to 8, go home and sleep, and do it all over again. I got into fighting. Be, it, it channels me. Um, I have been in trouble in my past, and nothing could, nothing interested me, nothing kept me dedicated in the world. I found fighting, and I'm at training every day. I do this every day. I don't get into trouble. I started coaching, you know, just dedicating my time to children, and you know, um, cleaned up my life. This cleaned up my life. Yeah, big time. Well. Uh, I'm very grateful to be able to show my skills in Tough Enough. It, they televise, they put us out there. We were on YouTube. Um, we get to show that girls can fight, and we train hard. We sacrifice what the men do. We, you know, we can take it to pro level, and just, you know, can take a beating, give a beating, you know. Christine Faria La Fiera, standing five foot five inches tall, the exact same as her opponent, coming in at 29 years old, the exact same as her opponent, also coming in undefeated with a 1-0 mark, training out of the Hard Knocks team here in Las Vegas, originally from San Jose, considers herself a Muay Thai stylist. Yeah, identical age, identical height and weight. Styles may be the only thing that differentiates the two. And as we know, styles make 
fights. They absolutely do. Faria has been training just a few months and is already competing in her second amateur contest. I love it. Wanting to test herself immediately, not wanting to, uh, you know, spend years in the gym before finally getting in there and, and putting herself to the test, but doing it right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, under the Tough Enough banner. One of the, if not the premier organization for amateur mixed martial arts in the country. This is female action. Let's take it up, Chester Bernard, and meet our fighters. Two undefeated fighters got to love that. Ladies and gentlemen, this next fight of the evening is part of the Tough Enough Women's Flyweight Tournament with the winner moving on to the finals to fight Rachel Cummins August 18th at Mayhem in Mesquite, Nevada. Introducing first in the blue corner with two wins and no loss fighting out of Legends, Hollywood, California, Christy Violencia Lopez. Her opponent stands in the red corner with one win and no loss fighting out of Hard Knocks, Las Vegas, Nevada. She is Christine LaPiera. Referee in charge of the action is Joe Sullivan. Ladies, protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. If I tell you to stop, you must stop. Any questions? Any questions? Touch close if you want. Go back to your corner. Be ready to fight. So 125-pound action. Christy Lopez in the half shirt with the pink trim. Faria in the all black. Winner of this fight moves on to Rachel to meet Rachel Cummins for the 125-pound title. Yeah, that is not the kind of prize you want to get if you're a winner. That is a difficult fight for either one of these two, but that is a great win for the fans. Faria in the center early, Lopez circling around on the outside. Lopez a little hesitant with that kick. Yeah, interesting note that, just kind of throwing it out there, but not with much authority, very hesitant, like you said. Even if you snap it a little bit, like 50% power. Like you see, Freya just did there, but and maybe but concerned she, with the counter. Not, yeah, not. she almost did it like when you're testing the temperature of a pool. <laughs> see, Freya throwing nice combination where it comes up short, but mixing punches and kicks together doesn't get a crisp jab right there. Yeah, Freya's looking to just walk her down right now, and the, and the movement of, of Lopez will make that difficult. Oh. As well, that left hook. Lopez with a nice left hand up top. Lopez can counter and move. Circle off, not be there for the counter of her own. Those angles will give Faria some trouble because Faria so far just has been walking her down, coming straight forward, like here. Faria definitely the aggressor. Now you see with the action up against the cage, just unleashing punches, gets the tie clinch, knees to the body. Lopez pulls away, looks to reset. 35 seconds left in this opening round. Faria the aggressor so far. Another crisp left hand. I like that Lopez is starting to come in behind that jab a little bit. See, Faria trying to catch it with the open hand. That could be a mistake. Yeah, Faria doesn't seem concerned at all about a right hand coming behind it. Has been able to avoid the low kicks thus far. There you see walking forward again with big punches. She's trying to swarm Lopez. And that'll work until she's made to pay for it. Knee inside there by Faria. The, the round ends there. Yagman, what'd you see in that opening two minutes? Well, I saw Faria trying to push the pace, but again, just kind of plodding forward, not, not as effective as aggressive. And then I saw some good movement, some good striking from Lopez, and then she started to eat some on her own. It's a, a very close round to score. Yeah, I'll tell you what, I like Faria in that opening round. I, I thought she was landing the, the stiff jab a little more often. You're right, Lopez, you know, doesn't look to be out of this fight in any stretch of the imagination. Uh, looks like she's very comfortable in there. Doesn't seem overwhelmed by the power, but Faria thus far, walking forward, landing the crisp jabs, pushing the action against the cage. I, I, I think Faria edged out the opening round on the feet. That is more than likely probably what, what would be scored on the cards. And it may have been helped a little bit by the fact that she was aggressive, even if not always effectively so. Absolutely. So we return to action here in the second round of this 125-pound contest, the semifinal round, if you will, the four-woman tournament. Winner moves on to meet Rachel Cummins. 
for the vacant 125 pound belt. Again, it's Christy Lopez in the half shirt with the pink trim over there. Faria in all black, who we think took the opening round. Lopez again just like said, has a little bit of tentative look in her as she moves forward. And I think when you see Faria fire off those bombs, maybe you understand why. Now Lopez answering back. I think Lopez needs to answer back, and I think when she starts ringing the bell of Faria, she might start seeing the fight turn her way. Lopez ducking in, wrapping the body, looking for the takedown. Can she suck Faria off the fence? Who's trying to almost grab the fence, she caught herself. Good awareness by Faria. Yeah, Joe Silva was watching that closely. It was an instinct which anybody would have to grab, and then she realized and she didn't. Lopez steps over on the right-hand side, now maybe looking for a trip. That's not there either. Lopez continues to press in from the outside. Free showed excellent balance so far, staying upright. Forced to defend, though, against this body lock. Well, Lopez has done one thing that she needed to do, which was stop the swarm by Faria, but she also needs to start mounting her offense, too. That's not a bad way to do it. Yeah, she's controlling the action right now, but not really scoring a lot of points in the judges' eyes, I wouldn't think, other than controlling a bit. You know, maybe step around and look for an outside trip, a hip toss. She's got a nice body lock, nice control. But she's trying to out-muscle Faria and, and really power her to the ground where she could use technique, get her hips on the right side. Yeah, the trip she was working before was on the wrong side. Like you said, the fence was in the way. She had it on the other direction. I mean, she's tying her up, and she's definitely working her in the cage, but she needs to do more offensively. I completely agree. Yeah, final seconds of the second round here. A round that's been spent almost exclusively in this clinch position here. Lopez has been the one pushing in from the outside, but I, I'll be honest with you, Yak Man. I, I don't know if that's enough to take a round. That, to me, is, is really a 10-10 round in my eyes. I, I think Faria didn't really do enough to claim it. She, she was you know, coming out striking in the opening seconds, but I can't say that she did enough uh, to win. But then, of course, as the round went on, it just stayed very neutral in the clinch. Yeah, it may have been just enough to have been the one in the better position on the outside of the cage versus with the back press against it. 10-10 round, I mean, it, Lopez was kind of controlling from the outside, but she just wasn't doing much. Yeah, I agree. She may have done just a little bit more. Just a little bit. Be interesting bit. to see what the, what the judges think. Be interesting to see what the judges think about that round. Kind of a, a neutral position for most of it. I've got a 10-10. I'm curious to see now if Lopez doesn't come out a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more driven after the talking to she got from Chris Riley and Eddie Bravo in her corner. Lopez, we said again, the pink trim for Rhea and the all black. You would think that maybe Lopez is, is feeling at least a little bit more confident, although uh, that will go out the window real quick with this barrage. Oh my goodness, for Rhea coming in, mixing in kicks, heavy punches, knees inside. Lop Lopez spins off, slows it down. Yeah, again, stopping her and, and, and keeping the clinch with her back against the cage is Lopez, but she needs to do offensive damage. Stay busy. Yeah, this is what's going to be interesting. We saw this position in much of round two, but Faria was able to stay upright. Lopez controlling the body, keeping it wrapped, pressing in from the outside. Now has underhooks, adjusts. Moves up the side a little bit. Faria firing knees inside. Again, kind of a, a neutral position here. Neither one has enough room to work an attack on strikes. They're trying to, he's not able to do it. Yep. The dirty boxing was almost completely smothered. Lopez again trying to work this clinch. You can hear a corner yelling, excuse me, to ask them to let it go. Once Lopez to back away and fire off punches. Yeah, that's what she needs to do. That, that inside fight is not working for her. She's not going to get anything done that she needs to get done in that time frame. And she doesn't have a lot of time to do it. Uh, yeah, we're going to have a brief timeout. Looked like we had a, uh, a mouthpiece lost here. Oh, the hair had come loose. They re-secure the hair there. It looks like there's going to be 35 seconds left. 
in this third and final round. Very close. I think Faria took the opening round. The second round, I, I on my card, had it a 10-10. We had an early flurry here by Faria, but then more neutral position in the clinch. Could be an interesting finish here. Yeah, Christie's corner is urging her to throw shots on shots on shots. Yeah, I think Lopez is going to need a finish here to pull out a victory. She's got about 20 seconds left to do it. Even a knockdown might help. She's moving forward, but Faria is very comfortable in the pocket, willing to stand and trade. Inside leg kick, Faria going to try to finish with a flurry here. Final seconds of the third and final round. Lopez trying to push in from the outside, but not going to get it done. Fun fight. Uh, you know, the second round, again, was a little bit of a stalemate for the two in the clinch. I think Lopez, when she goes back and watches this fight, is going to really want to work uh, on, on, on her positioning against the cage because she had that body lock for much of the second round. Couldn't do much with it. Had it for a bit the third. Couldn't do much with it. And uh, Faria, to me, was just extremely strong on the feet, throwing great strikes. And I, I think it was her striking, her boxing, really, uh, that, that's going to earn her the decision here. Yeah, what Lopez did in the second round was a double-edged sword. She stopped the offense of Faria, good. Of herself, not good. And that round probably slipped away and not enough in the third when she really needed it to do anything. And here you see right here, she was just taking a lot of the pressure from Faria. And now she's striking back, but I think what she walks away from when she watches this fight is she sees the moment that she was effective and she kept striking and she kept moving and didn't have so many gaps in her attack, it might be a different story. Yeah, completely agree with you. We think Faria is going to walk away with the decision here. Let's take it up to our ring announcer, Justin Bernard, to find out if we're right. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of absolute war, we have your winner by unanimous decision. And moving on to the women's flyweight finals, August 18th at Mayhem in Mesquite, Nevada, the red corner, Christine So Christine Faria, just like we thought, walks away with the decision. I think it was the striking. It was uh, fun to watch. She will now meet Rachel Cummins on August 18th with the 125-pound title on the line. You see the celebration there. We look forward to seeing that championship fight. But tonight, we've got four more bouts for you right here at South Point Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Stay tuned for more Tough Enough, the future stars of mixed martial arts. I felt like the fight went good. Uh, I have some stuff to work on. Um, I'm excited um, to move on to the next round and get that belt. I felt great going the distance. Um, I was fine, I wasn't gassed at all. I felt great. Yeah, no, she's tough. She's really tough. Uh, she moves a lot. Um, it's hard for me to to land some good, some good punches on her because of her movement. Um, she's a really tough girl. You know, I give it to her. She took some really hard punches from me. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the finals. Fight fans, are you ready for a 